Hey there, this is the second example of share moment diagrams. And uh, first of all, this is just a basic cantilever beam uh, with two forces applied onto it, which seem to be coupling forces. So uh, let's just work it out. Remember, this is a cantilever beam, not a simply supported. So um, we, can, we actually need to add the moment at A as well, and then hope it equals zero. So... Um, so what we need to do is the total moment needs to equal zero. So knowing that, we have a hundred, oh, negative a hundred times ten plus a hundred times five plus MA and this all should equal zero and what you'll see is that MA will equal 500 pound-feet so this is actually equivalent this is a basic moment at A that's being applied one thing I would like to point out, sigma fx equals zero and sigma fy is equal to zero. Realize that the hundred minus a hundred equals zero. So there is no x or y component at a. Just realize that. So ax equals zero, ay equals zero. Okay. Now let me do a quick drawing here we have a hundred then you have a hundred and then you have this moment which I'm just gonna say is in this direction at 500 pounds okay so now we just have to work our way there. Start off with the shear diagram. Shear diagram is going to say plus 100 all the way until we get into the middle. Then it's going to go down to flat ground. That's it. This is the shear diagram not very complicated actually almost deceivingly simple notice how the moment did not take any contributing effect on the shear diagram it's because moments do not have shear so anyway now let's continue we go on to the moment diagram which I find much more interesting And the moment diagram is going to equal, remember it's a straight, a constant shear will turn into a ramp in the moment, uh, in the moment scaling. So what you'll realize is that it's the area underneath the shear, so 100 times 5, so 500. You should have a 500 moment at the peak of this, so 500 pound feet. So it should look, since we have zero right at the end of the cantilever beam, it's going to be something like this. Then it's going to retain the moment all the way until we get to the end. And th this was not meant to be, this is supposed to be flat, so I'll just, you know, try and flatten it out for us. But regardless, this is 500 pound feet. So it's kind of a ramp that flattens out, stays at 500 feet until it gets to the end of the cantilever beam where the wall essentially applies the torque back and equalizes the whole thing and brings us back to equilibrium. So the peak moment is going to equal 500 pound-feet as we 
would have guessed just by looking at the rigid analysis. Anyway, uh, let me do one more for you today.